Guys, college tuition is the new minimum wage. Forget the talk of $12 an hour to lure new workers. Forget even $18 an hour. There's a new shiny object to dangle in front of applicants. That shiny object is a chance to get college for free. This is a new way to secure workers. I'm Skylar James, welcome back to the channel. So this isn't a new concept. The biggest employer in the world has been doing it for 75 years. Do you know who that is? It's the US Department of Defense, the American military. Back in 1944, President Roosevelt signed the GI Bill into law. It guaranteed low cost loans for college money to millions of veterans returning from World War II. The program was such a success that almost half of all college admissions in 1947 were veterans. Only recently has corporate America seen how big of a magnet paying for college can be. Now, don't get it confused. These big corporate players aren't offering college money out of the goodness of their hearts. This is a business decision, and it's an effective lure for workers because I think the negatives of student debt are now well known, more well known than say 20 or 30 years ago. Unless you're a doctor, lawyer, or in finance, I think the general public is aware it might be hard to pay back those loans after college. What got me thinking about this topic are the big headlines from earlier this month about Amazon paying for college tuition for all 750,000 of its US workers. Now, hold on, can we pause there? Amazon employs almost 1 million people? That is such a huge number. Anyway, those employees are eligible after just 90 days with the company. Amazon has a significant number of entry-level positions that don't require a degree. So I think it stands to reason that a significant portion of their workforce probably doesn't already have a college degree. So it sounds like a pretty nice perk, right? Ah, but wait, the fine print. Turns out Amazon is only going to commit $5,000 per employee per year. 5,000 a year. Tuition at state school could be 5,000 a quarter. So what gives here? Amazon is saying publicly that giving employees anything above that amount might trigger a taxable event for them. So an announcement that started off sounding like a full ride to college now sounds like golden handcuffs. Wait, maybe gold plated handcuffs? Uh, maybe they're fool's gold. Look, I don't want to completely make fun when they're giving a nice benefit, but the PR machine behind this is drastically over embellishing. A 5k pay bump is only equal to about a 15% increase for most workers who qualify. But honestly, I don't think Amazon is going to end up paying anything in college tuition to most of its employees. I think it's just a promotion to get people in the door, to get applicants, to draw workers in these competitive times. But how many workers follow through on this, do you think, and go to college on Amazon's dime while working full time? 15% of workers, 10%? This isn't just free money, this is a chance to go to school and work hard. College isn't easy. 60% of college students don't graduate once they've started. How hard is that degree to complete if you're working full time alongside your education workload? Do the quick napkin math with me, if say, 15% of the workforce takes advantage of this program, and the most will pay is 5K a year. If you were to amortize that across all of their employees, it's equal to a $750 pay bump per employee. And based on their median salary of 30K, that's a 2.5% wage increase. That's not an earth shattering increase when you compare that to the unprecedentedly tight labor market we're currently in. In fact, I view this as Amazon bridging the gap until the robot automation revolution has fully taken hold and they can automate more of their warehouses. Put out a video on this specific topic last week. Check it out in the link above. So if a degree isn't automatic and easy and money is only half the battle, why offer it? Why are Walmart, Amazon, Target, Starbucks all offering to pay some level of tuition for their workers? Because a paycheck isn't enough anymore. You can't lure workers with wages alone. You need to offer them the dream, a vision, growth, a promise, even if the promise is only money for college and not necessarily a degree. Amazon is selling the dream of future high wages in exchange for you standing in their warehouse eight hours a day, today in the present. A big difference between these corporate tuition plans and the veterans GI Bill is that these big businesses will only help you 
while you are actively employed by them. The fact that you as a Target employee or Starbucks employee have to juggle college might dissuade you from enrolling. I'd certainly think twice about it. Who has extra time these days? The GI Bill, on the other hand, that's for service members to use after they leave the military. These corporate offerings are fluff, kind of breadcrumbs that lead unsuspecting workers into the dungeon. Don't get me wrong, I hope people chase college on these big companies' time. I just don't know how many realistically will pursue it and achieve the diploma. So Amazon, I think, is banking that most employees aren't going to chase this money, but it gets the company a whole bunch of good press and puts them ahead of other companies in the hiring process. While on the surface, these college tuition programs sound great, I really encourage you to look below the surface at what is actually being offered and ask, what does the company gain today and how many employees will really benefit from this perk? Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.